So I recorded Flood House a little over three years ago, um, and I had planned to release it, I think, pretty much the fall after I recorded it. And then, of course, uh, 2020 came along, and a lot of, uh, you know, like many people, my plans got derailed a bit. Um, and by the time I had recorded the album, I actually had been already sitting with some of those songs for a few years. So at this point, you know, three plus years post recording, um, I've been, you know, living with some of these songs for eight, seven, eight years. Um, so it's been an interesting experience to hold those and to kind of see myself grow over the years. Um, and I'm just really excited to finally release them into the world um, and just kind of let them finally have their uh, moment. Um, so yeah, the title of the record, Flood House, um, I'm actually a seventh generation Floridian on both sides. I don't live there now, but um, I think that's like kind of rare, or at least I was told it was <laughs> by my family. Um, and my family, my grandma's family is from Steenhatchee, Florida, um, and that kind of from an area that is really prone to flooding, um, and of course there are a lot of hurricanes in uh, Florida, and there is a house that uh, belonged to my great-grandmother um, that unfortunately experienced flooding, and they kind of had to evacuate and leave everything in the house um, and move on and they still owned the house and they didn't do anything with it so growing up I used to uh, go visit it sometimes and kind of walk through the wreckage and it was kind of like a time capsule uh, because there were like you know coffee cups left out and uh, checks that had just been signed and a lot of just like family history um, still there kind of frozen in time and I think I was always fascinated by that and that's a little bit how I felt about this these songs and this body of work that it was kind of like this history and this like time capsule kind of frozen there um so that's kind of why I decided to name it after that and um I also feel like you know the themes on the album um really have to do with like my personal history and the way I was raised and just like you know growing up and all the struggles I you know an early 20s someone faces um so yeah all of that is on there it's kind of like a good uh kind of like a memoir in a way um yeah so i'm really excited about it i'm excited to share flood house uh with others and i'm gonna play a song from it the song is called uh, cheaper kind um i grew up really uh conservative christian and very like sheltered and homeschooled and so I think this song was kind of me sort of reckoning with that and wrestling with like what I was raised to believe versus what might what I might actually um, you know believe when I felt like I had some freedom to explore that. Um, so I kind of yeah, it's a little bit about that. I hope you enjoy it. Mm. been awake before I had the chance to say a single dirty word out loud. Growing up I was taught I ain't been faithful but I'm not. I looked it up it hardly means a thing at all. I've crumbled like a home to years to fill but now Like a child, 
Ever since I heard that song, I tried to write it for my own. But every note I sang was wrong. I've crumpled like gold, took years to build, but now it's gone. Couldn't live on bread or promises. You said, drink the holy wine I'm depending on the cheaper kind I've crumbled like a home Took years to build, but now it's gone Couldn't live on bread or promises You said, drink the holy wine Yeah, thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoy uh, Flood House, and um, yeah, thank you.